Have you ever played a video game and found yourself gazing out beyond the map and wondering what lies beyond that area? Perhaps there's a hidden secret like an Easter egg or some undiscovered areas that could contain valuable loot. Hey there, welcome to Box of Fact. In today's video, we're going to take you on a wild ride as we explore seven secrets that players have found outside the game boundary. We're talking about hidden areas, secret levels, and even unfinished game spaces that gamers have stumbled upon. So, sit back, relax, and join us as we journey beyond the boundaries as we reveal the juicy secrets that are just waiting to be uncovered. But before we begin, be sure to hit subscribe and notification button for more unique insights into the gaming world. Now, without further ado, let's dive into 7 secrets outside the game boundary. Some of you may already know that the Call of Duty franchise loves to hide Easter eggs outside of the game's boundary. And one such Easter egg is a giant cow that you can find outside the game map level called Crossroads in Call of Duty United Offensive. The reason for its existence is unknown, perhaps the developers just wanted to give some random Easter egg for players to find. But the giant cow isn't the only odd Easter egg that Call of Duty loves. They also seem to have a thing for teddy bears. The teddy bear has made an appearance since Call of Duty Finest Hour, but the developers started making so many appearances of teddy bears in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. It's almost as if they're everywhere, especially in the multiplayer maps. One very interesting teddy bear that some players have found is a giant teddy bear that can be found by no clipping outside the game boundary. The giant teddy bear is having a star on its chest and holding two guns. But, there's some rumor about the teddy bear appearance. It was believed that some of these teddy bears were placed as a tribute to a young daughter of one of the Call of Duty game developers who had passed away. But, it turns out that the rumor is actually false. Then, why are these teddy bears scattered around the Call of Duty franchise? Well, as it happens, the teddy bear easter egg is actually a joke that the developers love to make. Despite its humorous origin, the teddy bear easter egg definitely provides a fun and unexpected surprise for players who take the time to explore the game's maps and look for hidden secrets. As you may know, Gabe Newell is the co-founder of Valve Corporation, the company behind the iconic Half-Life series. He is definitely one of the most influential and respected figures in the gaming industry. But did you know that there is a secret room in Half-Life 1 that is full of his face? Yep, that's right, someone at Valve decided to create a hidden tribute to their boss in the most hilarious way possible. Located in the C-101C map, under the elevator, there is a secret room that you can only access by using the no-clip command. When you know clipping under the elevator, you can see that there is a black cube and as you enter it and turn on the flashlight, you can see a room with a texture that is pictures of Gabe Newell face all over the wall. But why would they create such a room in the first place? Well, it turns out that this space is actually used to store enemies before the game spawns them in their actual locations. So, while it may seem like a weird and wacky tribute to Gabe Newell, it serves a practical purpose in the game's development. It shows how the developers have a sense of humor and creativity, and how they made a hilarious tribute to Gabe Newell. We all know that GTA series is full of secrets and Easter eggs, but one of the most intriguing ones is a hidden town beyond the boundaries of the map in GTA 3. This mysterious place, known as Ghost Town, lies beyond Shoreside Vale and can only be reached by flying a plane over the water. Once you reach Ghost Town, you'll notice that it's unlike any other place in the game, giving off a spooky and ghost-like atmosphere. One of the interesting things about Ghost Town is that some buildings are more detailed than even Liberty City itself. For example, there's an apartment building with air conditioning units on the windows, and there is also the Liberty City Bank here, with an alley behind it that contains dumpsters, cardboard boxes, and various items of garbage strewn across the ground. More interestingly, Ghost Town isn't just some random location in the game. You may feel a sense of nostalgia to some area in this place, as Ghost Town is actually the location where the bank heist scene takes place at the beginning of the game. 
Additionally, you can actually enter the area inside the bank. In there, you'll find that the bank has some intricate details, such as gold and money on there. Overall, Ghost Town is an intriguing location that adds to the eerie charm of GTA 3. It's a place that you should definitely explore if you're a fan of this game. Well, we all know Shrek, right? The big green ogre who lives in a swamp. It turns out that our beloved big green ogre also has a video game, and it's called Shrek Extra Large that released in 2002 for the Nintendo GameCube. But here's the kicker, you can break out of the game's boundaries by burping or farting. Yeah, I know it's pretty weird, but what's more weird is when you fall outside the game boundary, you'll be transported to a room that looks like the inside of the GameCube motherboard. It feel like the Shrek just get out from the game itself and is now trapped inside your console. Once you ending up here, it will soft locks the game that will make you can't open the menu, so you need to hard reset the GameCube to escape from this room. It is definitely a fun way for the developers to break the fourth wall and add an interesting secret to the game. As you may know, Skyrim is a game full of mysteries, hidden gems, and secrets. But there is one particular discovery that really stand out. During the Mind of Madness quest, you can find a door located outside of the game boundary that can only be accessed through a glitch. What's even more exciting is that you can actually interact with the door and get teleported to a hidden secret house. Upon entering the house, you'll notice that there are several doors that look like the one you just entered before. If you interact with any of them, you'll be teleported to a tunnel that leads to a large unfinished area. It's unclear what this area was intended for. Some say it was supposed to be part of the Mind of Madness quest, but got scrapped for some reason. Regardless of its purpose, one thing is for sure, it's an amazing discovery that showcases just how vast and intricate Skyrim's world really is. Now let's move into some creepy discovery. Back in the day, when Tower Unite was called Gmod Tower Lobby 2, a YouTube channel named Craig uploaded a video showing a glitch that allowed players to go beyond the game boundary. By glitching through a wall, he stumbled upon a bulletin board. More interestingly, this bulletin board transported him to a dark hallway with a red carpet illuminated by dim light. As he continued to explore the area, things started to get even scarier. He eventually stumbled upon a room illuminated in red with a mysterious shadow, and as he got closer to the source of the shadow, his recording software crashed, making us wondering what the spooky figure that creating the shadow. Many people believe this video was a hoax because some players have tried the glitch and not found the bulletin board, but there are also others who claim that the bulletin board was real, but it only lasted for a while. If this was all just a hoax, it would have taken an incredible amount of effort to create a piece of content on this scale. Whether this was just a setup, or if the area was actually real but was later deleted by the developers, the mystery still remains unsolved. Pokemon is undoubtedly one of the most popular game franchises out there, but there's a hidden secret in the game that's very unnerving. It's called Glitch City. Glitch City is a term used by players of the Pokemon games to refer to maps with invalid tile data. It's a generalized term used by players to refer to corrupted maps that result from a glitch. Glitch City has been present in various Pokemon games, but there's a particularly interesting Glitch City in Pokemon Crystal. To get to Glitch City you need to use a cheat code to walk out of bounds from the game map. Once you enter the Glitch City in Pokemon Crystal, it's quite different from other Pokemon Glitch Cities. It's not filled with random numbers, but only the assets of the game tile map, and you might even find some random NPCs wandering around. But there's one particular NPC that stands out from the rest. You'll see a black and white girl that looks like a ghost just standing there and spinning around. It's quite eerie, to say the least, but what's even creepier is when you approach her, she'll start talking with glitchy text. You can also fight her, and doing so will reveal her true identity as Kara. The identity of Kara is still remains a mystery, but some players have noticed a link between her encounter and the Burn Tower theme. This music also relates to some unused text in the game about searching for someone's daughter in the Burn Tower. Have you ever encountered Glitch City or this ghost girl in any of the Pokemon games? 
Let us know in the comments below. So that's it guys for the 7 secrets outside the game boundary. We hope you enjoy this video. If you have any additional secrets that you think we should include, or if there are any other topics you would like us to cover, please let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, why not click the like button below and subscribe to our channel for even more mind-blowing gaming content. Also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss our new video. Thanks for watching, and until then, stay gaming and stay curious.